hello everyone uh, how are you all uh, i hope you are doing extremely good so let's solve this problem b from the leak code contest 356 and the problem name is count complete subarrays in an array so let's understand the problem statement so here you are given an array nums of consisting of all the positive integers of all positive integers and we call a subarray of an array complete if the following condition is satisfied the following condition is satisfied the number of distinct element in the subarray is equal to the number of distinct elements in the whole array so what it is stating that now suppose we take this nums 1 3 1 2 2 uh, here how many distinct elements are there only 3 right and if you take 1 3 1 2 here the distinct elements are 3 here the distinct elements 3 here it is 3 and here also it is 3 it is stating that we need to calculate all the subarrays all the subarrays such that all the distinct um, uh, the number of distinct elements in the subarray should be matched with the number of distinct elements in the whole array. Now, what is a subarray if you delete some elements for uh, now? If you are, if you are having this array, if you delete some elements from the beginning or end, not from the between, not from the between. This is a subarray. If you delete from the between, we call it as a subsequence. So, if you see this, like directly uh, in the question, if you see the constraints are so we can think of an order of n square solution so directly I thought like what exactly I can do now what I, what I have did I have taken a map in map I am storing all the different elements now in map I am incrementing it and I am calculating the size suppose if we take this example 1 3 1 2 2 and how many different elements are there 3 so my d d will be 3 and I am clearing it. Uh, I will say I am not required. And then I am taking int c to calculate the number of subarrays. And I am incrementing i is equal to 0, i less than n. And I am incrementing i. I am incrementing i. And I am taking m of v of i plus plus. That means now if you have 1, 3, 1, 2, 2. Now I am incrementing this 1. And I am iterating through j. j is starting from the i. I am incrementing. And m of v of j plus plus. I am, I am going for every element. And I am checking. I am incrementing and I am checking the condition. If m dot size is equal to d. I want to increment the count. I want to increment the count. That's it. And I am clearing the map and I am returning the answer. This would be order of n square would be my time complexity. And order of n would be my space. So let's optimize it. Let's If you see it carefully. We are incrementing the answer and we are incrementing and we are clearing it. If you see 1, 3, 1, 2, 2, now we got 1, then we got 3, then we got 1, then we have 2, right? If, if, if here we are getting number of distinct elements are 3 and total distinct elements in the whole subarray is also 3 then we can say that all the elements present towards the right side will also be calculated in this right because number of distinct elements here and number of distinct elements are here are same so we will use the same approach what we will do we will, we will use a sliding window technique so we will use sliding window technique i think it's more popular if you use sliding window we will we will have i and j if why I, I j is iterating towards the right side and if j reached some point where the number of distinct elements in the subarray is equal to the number of distinct elements in the whole array if it is satisfied all the elements towards the right side will also get satisfied all the elements towards the right side also will get satisfied we will use this logic to solve this problem so same thing this would be the same till here m of i power suppose if you take an example uh, i and j i and j we have 1 3 1 2 2 my i is over here and j is over here uh, at first position at first position we are incrementing v of j plus plus then j is coming here and j is coming here and j is coming here at this point at this point m dot size is equals to d m dot size is equals to d then we can say that all the elements towards the right will be matched. If anything like 1, 2, any, anything present towards the right side will also match. We will incrementing it. C is equal to C plus N. Number of this and minus this. Suppose if you take the index now 0, 1, 2, 
3 4 at this point it is satisfied total elements are 5 5 and 5 minus now j is 2 3 1 2 3 so c plus n minus j and what we are doing we we are decrementing i we are decrementing i uh, from the map and then we are incrementing i uh, if if m of i is equal to 0 then we need to erase the map is something which states that if m of v of i if you include like this then it will consider like now uh, m of v of i is present this is already existed now if you delete if we if we are incrementing plus plus and then we are doing minus minus then what it map it will do m of 1 is equal to 0 it will do and if you calculate m dot size 1 will also get included to avoid that scenario we are erasing it from the map we are erasing it from the map and incrementing j and we are returning the answer so if you see this now what would be our time in the worst case scenario j will reach till the end i also will reach till the end so order of n plus n order of n plus n what will be our time complexity as usual order of n and to map we are using map so it will take log of n so i think you understood this solution and thank you for watching if you like the video please do like and please subscribe to my channel